Welcome to part 2 in Project Battle Helper. This one is related to target locator functionality. But what is target locator? The Foxhole game allows players to use long range weapons, but in order to be accurate with it, they have to use binoculars with range indicator to acquire range to the target and use build in game compass to get azimuth to the target. Very often, operator of the long range weapon is not able to see the target, and the operation requires spotter to calculate position of the target relative to the gunner. But the game does not offer the tools to calculate this data, and this calculation can be performed in this target locator. To understand it in a better way, I have prepared a visual presentation. In this picture we can see spotter, gunner and the target. Imagine that gunner is not able to see or locate the target position. Spotter, using distance, and azimuth to gunner and the target can calculate coordinates for the gunner to use it in order to hit the target. And all these calculations are performed by the target locator. All calculations for the target locator are performed in the final location class. In the final location class we have three methods, three helper methods. First azimuth to polar takes in-game degrees and changing it to polar degrees. Second to radiance takes polar degrees and changing it to radiance. And the last one is two degrees, it takes radiance and simply changing back to degrees. Polar 2 Cartesian enemy and Polar 2 Cartesian friendly. Calculating the position of X and Y for both, front friendly and for the enemy, so we can use it in the Cartesian plane. After that, we transform in the friendly position to the origin of the Cartesian plane, to have it an X0 and Y0. And we are moving the enemy by the same values for X and Y. To calculate the final distance, we use using mat.square, mat.power, and translated position of the enemy and the friendly. To calculate the azimuth, we're using our last helper method to degrees. So we take the radiance and we're changing it back to the degrees. And it's using the translated enemy x position and the final distance calculated before. If the enemy position x and y is not in the first quadrant, we have to adjust the azimuth by the value depending on which quadrant the enemy position is, second, third and fourth. There is two more classes in the folder for a target locator, the first one is input check, the second is range indicator, let's have a look on the input check. In this one I am using regex to validate the distance. The first number must be from 1 to 9, and the second can be from 0 to 9 to validate the azimuth. The first number can be 0, as azimuth can be 0, and the next numbers are ok to be from 0 to 9. If we pass this, we are checking is the input.text.length not bigger than 3. If it is, the app will show the message box to the player informing that the maximum length, maximum length can be 3 digits. If we pass that, we go into else if statement and we're trying to parse that input that text out as an integer. And then we are checking is the distance bigger than 150. If it is, again, message box. If not, then we assign in the distance. Same goes for the friendly distance validation. And then there is enemy azimuth validation. The only difference here is that maximum number for the azimuth is 359 instead of 150 as azimuth in-game can be 359. Another class is range indicator, and this one is responsible for color coding this information in here. It simply says if it's white you can use it, if it's in red color you will be out of range. And let me quickly show you this. Let's go for 40, and azimuth 90, and let's go for 40 and as the mode 180. In this case we can see that we, the user will be able to fire the mortar as the range is 57 meters. But he will not be able to use the howitzer or field artillery as this range, minimum range, is 75 meters. And that is everything for the target locator functionality. 
this was uh, part two of the project battle helper as always thanks for watching if you would like to you can go ahead and use the link for the github to see all the code for the app if you like my work or have any questions you can contact me on this email address thank you very much again and goodbye